Hello and welcome to The Film Report, your weekly inside look at what's on, on the big screen. It's been an exciting last few weeks for New Zealand films, with two big premieres at the Toronto International Film Festival, a prestigious event which brings together investors and audiences for a first-hand look at what could potentially be next year's biggest blockbusters. With 40 million sheep dotting the countryside, Jonathan King's black sheep is every farmer's worst nightmare. <laughs> This wacky story of ovine killers premiered at the infamous Midnight Madness session. The program we're in has been a great launching pad for a lot of really great horror movies. So um, I'm pretty excited to be in there and, and uh, yeah, I couldn't hope for a better launch for the film. Scott Weinberg of eFilmCritic.com says, Black Sheep is a freaky fun flick which is equal parts loony lampoon, revolting rampage and yes, sheer madness. Black Sheep is released in New Zealand later this year. Also premiering at the Toronto Film Festival is Robert Saki's harrowing docudrama, Out of the Blue, which chronicles the tragedy of the Aramoana massacre. Get out! Get out! David's got a gun! Out of the Blue has been praised by critics for its non-exploitational style, with Kim Boyne of the Toronto International Film Festival saying, out of the Blue is an excellently made film that documents the tragedy David Gray left in his wake, both honestly and respectfully. Out of the Blue premieres this Thursday in cinemas around the country. And if you're going to the movies this week, here's what's hot at the box office. In at number five, former US Vice President Al Gore shares an inconvenient truth about global warming. Is it possible that we should prepare against other threats besides terrorists? While Mrs. Palfrey extends her stay at the Claremont, but drops down from her number one position to the number four slot. I had imagined something quite different. And the writers of Bring It On, Bring It Back with another teenage high school dance film. This time it's gymnastics at an elite training college. Stick It jumps in at number three. It's not called gymnastics. And apparently Garfield was so successful that they just had to make a sequel. Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties comes in at number two. Please, sir. May I have some more? But in our number one slot from the makers of Napoleon Dynamite comes Jack Black in tights. If that wasn't enough, Nacho Libra is a hugely entertaining film about the insane world of Mexican wrestling. I am Nacho, the luchador. Nacho! Who? But if you'd prefer to stay in, I highly recommend The New World which somehow managed to miss a theatrical release and was largely dismissed by critics as too slow and too ponderous. However, it was good enough to be selected by the Telecom International Film Festival as one of their headlining films. Visionary filmmaker Terence Malick follows his Oscar-nominated World War II epic The Thin Red Line with a sumptuous retelling of the Pocahontas story. They have no jealousy, no sense of possession. To be fair to critics, the new world is slow and ponderous, but it's also entirely captivating and beautiful. It gets five stars out of five from me. Next week, we'll be taking a look at the lineup of films Peter Jackson intends to produce and direct over the next few years, plus we'll have a preview of the upcoming summer releases. Until then, I'm Shai Dowd, and this is The Film Report. <laughs>